Hey guys and welcome back to day 5 of our clan war league on Clash of Clans So in this war we faced again, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the opponent, the name of the clan we were facing But we managed a 33 stars and they only managed, uh, that's from 14 attacks from us And they managed 17 stars from 10 attacks So now the team... Um, did all 15 of their attacks. Let's see who missed out on their attack from ours. Okay, so Shadow Kings um, didn't manage to squeeze in his attack. Doesn't affect the result overall because we do win. By a pretty big margin. But let's, look at, let's take a look at some of these results. So we got Master Yoda with an unlucky 96%. So we'll be looking out for that as well. See where um, he missed out on them. On some stars, fresh, deft, 43%, deft, 88%, no one attacked that, Frankie, sorry, poison attacked, number 5, I attacked number 6, got I Jazz. well we're looking at uh, I Jazz's replay as well because he only got 55%, uh, which is 1 star, and uh, yeah, so let's start off with Master Yoda. So, he faced his mirror, um, a Town Hall 13, not a very strong one at that, I mean, cool, he's got some upgraded Infernos, some upgraded uh, air defences, and obviously got the scatter shot, has he got the champion as well, he does, but yeah, everything else isn't upgraded to the max, and um, the walls are absolutely ridiculous for oh no what's this internet doing no yeah i have no idea what's happening with the internet but anyway let's continue the replay One of the Inferno Towers are multi, or actually, yeah, all of them are multi file. So, let's see where Master Yoda starts from. Okay, so he's starting again. He's having he has one archer, seven wizards, two healers, one pekka, one golem, uh, a few super witches, a maxed out uh, wall wrecker, heroes, including. A level 20 royal champion, which is great. He's got jump spell, free spell, poison, bat, and two free spells coming from the clan castle. Reinforcements. So here's the two witches being deployed with two healers right behind her. And we've got a golem coming in here with the archer queen. So he's attacking on three fronts. He's got the... You've got the top left, let's say middle left, and then we've got the bottom left here. So another <coughs> super witches with healers. We've got the royal champion doing some work as well, taking out the wizard towers and uh, some outside of defense. Let's get a zoomed out aerial view of what's happening. Her archer queen has been um, gravely wounded, so the ability has kicked in. We've got the bats coming in from the uh, right hand side, should we say. Doing some good damage here. Let's see what the rest of the army is doing. None of his army has touched that town hall. It seems like the strat, which the base layout has worked a treat here. Let's see how quickly those bats get absolutely demolished by that inferno. They don't get... Oh. Oh, but they do now. The combined power of the town hall uh, inferno and the expo. No match. But we can see where it starts to go wrong from here. She's only got... What am I saying? She, he's only got um one Super Witch left on that top side. The Barbarian King just got taken down. And... Yeah, the problem here is that the Clan Castle troops have worked a treat for this uh, player. The Lava Hound has barely lost half of his health and he's still going strong. And <laughs> still that one balloon as well. And we've got the Super Witch here who... 
probably hasn't got much life left. But he, they, he does have the healer backing it up as well. That probably that balloon's probably gonna absolutely demolish that skeleton. Let's see. Yeah. Let's speed it up a bit. <laughs> that lava hound just does not want to go down. He is gonna go down. Unfortunately, the healer gets taken out. So the witch, the super witch is on her last life and she's getting absolutely surrounded by those uh, mini lava hounds or whatever they are. But that is it guys. So the whole attack went wrong as soon as the whole of the army got ringed around the base and they did not even, um, they barely touched that town hall. So unfortunate for Master Yoda. A good attack. Um, it's just that the troops, the AI kind of uh, cucked him over there. So let's see who else. Let's see Poison's attack, because po I know Poison's uh, about two town halls below his opponent, so let's see what he got opts, opts to go for. Okay, so he's going to do some lightning spells, took out a few air defenses, and he touched that scatter shot as well. Cool, so he's um, he's got one multi-inferno here, and the rest of them, the other two top ones, they are single fire. So it's interesting to see how uh, how this two star will be uh, achieved. The defenses aren't the best. I mean, the even the air defenses are maxed out. Not to mention these uh, wizard towers. Okay, so we got the good old traditional zeppelin coming in, and with the sneaky goblins doing some really good damage there. They just about get that damage in before their uh, ability kicks off. Where's off, sorry. So we've got the clan cluster troops coming in. We've got the E-Drag versus a baby dragon. We already know how that's going to end. But let's see this. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely demolished. So we've got another army coming in from the, um, from the left hand side. Got another baby dragon middle, bottom. So the one star has been achieved again as we've seen in the previous episodes. Now the main... Um, Objective is to clean up as many buildings outside of the base uh, in order to get that two star, which he did 55%. Good, he's already got what he wanted, and um, still got 11 baby dragons, so I'm pretty sure you can get more damage. Here. Let's speed this along, see how much he manages to get. A good attack, nonetheless, a very, very good attack. And that is the majority of the army depleted right there. And a good two stars, a solid two stars. 78%. A very good two stars. And now let's head over to our next um, next fellow clan mate. Let's look at my attack, guys, as usual. Cool. So I'm facing a town hall 13, a town hall above me. But yet again, I have some confidence going in this purely because the defenses aren't maxed out. Um, the only real threatening stuff here is perhaps maybe the scatter shot. But that is literally about it. The air defenses are whack. Um, the Inferno Towers not even leveled up enough to provide any resistance. But let's see. I opt to go for my Golem and Witch Bowler Strat again, as we have seen in the previous episodes. Um, main reason again to highlight is that he has three single fire infernos which will work a treat for those uh, skeletons cool so three golems which is bowlers on the top middle and bottom side of that left hand side of the base got the wall wrecker coming in with the heroes this time I do um, actually take my uh, warden off flight mode and he's able to actually do some damage i think here i activated that uh warden ability a bit too early i'm not sure why i did that but we've got the cleanup going well on the sides we've got um the barbarian king which just got taken out unfortunately so the cleanup on that top side isn't going as well anymore but the bottom side is going absolutely brilliant and we have just penetrated the middle as well one star has been achieved the pekka is going to get absolutely demolished 
But this Archer Queen stands the ground very well. We've got the um, Bat Spells coming in, guys. Bat Spells, not Haste, unfortunately. I do manage not to me mess that up again. Yeah, so um, not very good uh, <laughs> Bat strategy from me there. They get absolutely taken out. And we've still got a quarter of the base to go uh, here. But fortunately for us, we've still got our Queen standing. And we still got the um, the golem here soaking up quite some damage, giving these troops some time to get in and clean up the base. So overall, not a very good attack. Um, still got quite a few witches left and a few bowlers. And I've still got my barbarian king there as well, and he's barely lost any health. Yeah, so we just got this little bit left of the map. To destroy and we do get the three stars but again not a very good uh three stars not a very good attack in my opinion cool three stars achieved and the last replay we can take a look at was who did we want to look at yeah we wanted to look at ijaz's attack so let's see why he only got 55 percent and one star let's analyze the base quickly two single fire infernos um both expos on air and ground mode he's using he's attempting to go for a similar strat that me and frankie have been using uh, the free golem uh, witches and golem strat with a long log, log launcher this time free spells a bit different a spell uh, combination here he's got i think he's trying to go for the zap quake possibly for these um, infernos but let's see zoom out Okay, yeah, and I think we've got Earthquake coming in. Cool. So iJazz has identified these Infernos as a priority when it comes to the Lightning spells, and he's done done a good job at it. He's um, taken both of them down, and this should help his army out. And we've got was that two Golems coming in from the bottom. And we've got the main army coming in as well, the witches. He's put he's just put down his third golem as well. The long launcher doing some good damage, but the problem here is Damn. So basically his log launcher is still going strong, but the E-Dragon is just hammering those uh golems and they're meant to be soaking up the damage. So his main um source of protection has just been eliminated basically with he's still got one golem actually but um those golems had no protection the witches were hanging back or going around the base while the e-dragon was absolutely hammering down on those golems which means there's only one left and at least the main majority of the troops are going towards the middle as we can see the e-dragon is still alive and kicking so just right there we can see where it goes wrong those bowlers don't get to take out the town hall and unfortunately that is going to be an unsuccessful attack i think the archer queen just about um squeezes in that one star but overall uh i think where it all goes wrong is as you guys saw the golems did not have enough protection they get absolutely taken out which removes the main source of uh damage of the damage sponge which those golems are and that leaves the main army the witch is uh, very vulnerable to the attacks. But I'll be it for this guys for this episode, guys. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. But yeah, a good run overall. And this puts us in pole position to promote. And yeah, a very successful round overall.